Hi guys, welcome to Lynxa YouTube channel. My name is Ramishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to create EC2 instance using Ansible playbook. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is based on Ansible automation tool. So basically Ansible is a simple IT automation engine that automates cloud provisioning and configuration management, application deployment, intra-service orchestration and for many other IT needs. It provides agentless environment where you don't need to install any other software or firewall ports on the client system you want to automate. So let's get started. So for the deploy EC2 instance using Ansible playbook we need to uh, first set up few things which is an AWS user account with the administrative privileges and Ansible package we required and finally Python and Boto packages. So guys, this is my AWS web console and currently I am logging into Ohio region. You can see that currently I am logging with Ohio region. So in the first step, I am going to launch fresh EC2 instance where I will install Ansible and required package and later on I will use this instance as Ansible control node. So currently you can see that I, I don't have any running EC2 instance. Okay, and so let's uh, let go and install fresh EC2 instance. So click on the launch icon, launch instance, assign the instance name, uh, could be anything, I go with Ansible node, scroll down and I go with the Amazon Linux, you, can, you have the choice, you can go with anyone and scroll down, go with the T2 micro that is free tire eligible and key pair i go with the my existing key pair that is ohio if you have it you can go with the existing key one otherwise you can create the create new key pair okay and uh, i go with the default network setting like vpc subnets and security gateway so just click on the launch instance so i just simply click on the launch instance i go with the default conditions like uh, i have told you subnets vpc and security group you can do the modification as per your need so you can see that if i click on the instances yeah uh, ansible node is there and uh, it's successfully launched now moving to the next step which is take this ec2 instance console and install ansible and required packages so for the console session i use my git bash utility you can use putty tool also so just refresh the screen select your instance go to the connect copy the entire path from here and uh, let me open my download folder right click open the git bash utility for you okay let me zoom the font size okay right click and paste the entire path are you sure to continue i said yes it's permanently add Okay, I am successfully logged in. So if I go with etc os release, you can see that it's Amazon Linux version 2. Okay, so let me log in with the sudo privileges. Now here I am. So uh, uh, now I am going to install Ansible, Python and Boto packages one by one. So start with the Ansible packages. So I go with the yum install Ansible. When okay uh, see if i go with the yum install command yum install ansible command it shows me ansible is available in amazon linux extra topic ansible 2 so i have to go with amazon linux extra to install ansible 2 packages so what i'm going to do i just copy this path right click copy and right click on the paste and just press enter Is this okay? I said yes. Okay, now uh, it's just installed successfully. We can check the version also. So I have the command ansible hyphen hyphen version. See, ansible 2.9.23 is successfully installed in this EC2 instance. Okay, 
now install another package which is python pip and boto so for this i go with the yum install pyth1 python pip okay press enter are you sure to continue i said yes so now we can see the pip is installed and we can verify the version also pip hyphen capital v see pip 20.2.2 from this path okay now finally install boto packages so boto is a python package which provide an interface to aws cloud provider so i go with the pip command pip install b o t o boto yeah download it and it's completed successfully installed boto so now we are done with the package installation we can move ahead and start our writing our ansible playbooks but before writing the playbook we require cloud credentials to deploy instances over aws cloud platform using ansible playbook so for this we have a two method first method is a make iam user with administrative access and take the user key and user access key and the secret access key for the ec2 deployment or second method is that uh, make an iam role with the ec2 full access and attach this in this role to the ansible instances and deploy the playbook so i'm going to follow the second method which is i am role based okay so in the next step i am going to create an i am role with ec2 full access and attach this role with the ansible control node so i move to my i am console so click on the services go to the i am search i am from here here it is open in the new tab and let it be launch okay here it is scroll down go to the role section click on the create role select the ic2 use case scroll down next go to ec2 full access here it is amazon ec2 full access click on the next one role name assign the role name so i say ansible ansible underscore role okay you can give any name as up to you click on the create role now role and civil hyphen role is successfully created okay so in the next step i am going to attach this role to my uh, ansible node so click on the ansible node go to the action go to the security modifying iam role here click on this one search your role here it is my ansible role select this one and update the iam role so now all the pre requirement done now i move to the next step which is make ansible playbook for ec2 creation so for ec2 creation related codes are available in ansible hyphen doc module so or command you can say that so ansible hyphen doc ec2 if i go with this one let's see create automate ec2 instances this module is maintained by ansible core team so here all possibilities are uh, clearly mentioned and uh, all the uh, all the codes are mentioned through which we can deploy and manage ec2 instances on cloud provider it means how to start stop terminate each and everything is related uh, the code is mentioned here okay so we can take the help from uh, this command ansible hyphen doc and ec2 module okay so uh, let's start with the fresh one let me set the permanent line first of uh, first of all viam say vim rc set and new okay so let me check yeah line number set for you okay so for the time saving purpose i have read down the code for uh, in my word file so at the end of this demo i will share the all the code in the description you can access from there so i am writing a playbook to deploy ec2 instance in aws mumbai region okay so i make a file mumbai.yml name could be anything but the extension should be always yml okay and uh, let me go my code here it is my code so let me copy okay and let me paste yeah now i'm going to explain each and every line for you okay i started with the comment 
uh, to mention uh, the brief info about this playbook that is launch EC2 instance in Mumbai region. Then I mentioned the play name which is Ansible Play in my case. Then in the host section I mentioned the entry which is localhost. It means I want to deploy this playbook on the localhost where Boto is installed through which it is going to be launched in AWS platform. Then I assign the new task which is a launch AWS instance using Ansible playbook. Okay. Then I use EC2 module and mention mandatory things which is required for deploy or launch EC2 instance like, uh, like key name that is Mumbai and uh, in uh, in my case it is already there in my AWS account and then I defined Mumbai region that is AP South 1 and then I go for go with free tier instance type that is T2 micro and image ID I use Red Hat AMI ID for testing purpose you can select anyone and then finally I mentioned the EC2 tag name which is optional but I want to keep that one okay so I mentioned it so let me open my Mumbai region and show you these keys and AMI ID so again I am back my AWS console and uh, from here I move to my Mumbai region here it is my Mumbai region so let me go to the EC2 dashboard let me refresh it see key pair and if I scroll down see Mumbai is there and if I go to the EC2 dashboard and click on the launch stars and scroll down so if I select Red Hat see instance AMI ID is 138A so here is 138A okay so this is the AMI ID of Red Hat in Mumbai region okay so now I'm going to cancel let me refresh the EC2 dashboard if I go to the EC2 instance running condition so uh, currently there is no EC2 instance running in this Mumbai region okay so all good uh, let me run this playbook so save and quit but uh, before run this playbook let me check the syntax error first so command is ansible hyphen playbook and uh, syntax check mumbai.eml syntax error okay sorry it was typo mistake syntax check okay playbook mumbai.eml all good all okay now dry the run for dry run uh, before uh, go to the final deploy so let me check the dry run first playbook capital C okay play name is Ansible playbook and see it's okay all um, now finally run the uh, final playbook so let's do the final run Ansible playbook mumbai.eml okay play name is ansible play tax is launching aws instance using ansible and look at that change is one okay so our ec2 is successfully deployed from ansible playbook let me check through the web console so i'm back on my ec2 dashboard that is in mumbai region so now if i'm going to refresh see instance is two earlier it was one and uh, if i refresh see demo server okay so uh, you can see that my newly created instance is there and it's going to be uh, started and it's, it's in, in, in pending condition so we have to just wait for a moment say it's in running condition so if I go to the EC2 dashboard and refresh one more time here it is it's in running condition okay so uh, this is how we can just write down the playbook and execute if I want to install any instance using Ansible playbook so we can go and follow this step okay now move to the next step which is how to stop start and terminate this ec2 instance from the playbook also so for this again we have to create few yaml file to manage them so let me go with the create few file so i say stop and i made one more start and terminate say yaml so let's go with the stop dot yaml first stop dot yaml see it's blank it's new you can see that uh, currently uh, my instance is in running condition see if i go to the refresh it's in running condition okay uh, let it be stop from my uh, new ansible playbook so again i copy and paste the code from my notepad let me open my notepad here it is the stop dot yaml code 
let it be copy and right click paste okay see uh, this time my play name is storm uh, stop instance and again i'm going to execute in localhost task name is stop instance that uh, were previously previously launched and the state is stopped okay and uh, I have mentioned the status stop and I'm uh, managing the server using tag filter otherwise I can directly use the instance ID also so instance tag is demo server okay so I save and quit and let me check the syntax for stop also okay looks good so time to time to run let me check the current condition see it's currently is running now i'm press enter let's see see it's change again and i'm going to refresh it one more time see it's stopping okay so that means my playbook is working fine similarly i can uh, i am i'm going to i can also go to the start this instance using the playbook so it's stop let me create a playbook for start.eml okay code is same just only we have to uh, mention only one thing new or we can say we can uh, just add it one entry that is state running earlier it was stopped now it's running okay so uh, play name is start stance and the task name is start instance that were previously stopped and i just add only one entry start running save and quit and similarly we can start it start.yml so see if i go to refresh it let's see see it's pending okay so just give me one sec let me refresh yeah it's going to be started is in pending condition so this is how you can start and stop the playbooks and you can manage them through the ansible environment okay and uh, finally let's move uh, see finally it's in running condition now let's move to the last step which is how to terminate it so uh, for the termination uh, let me go with the terminate.eml file and let me write down the code with the terminate eml So guys, uh, now this time my play name is terminate instance, host again is the local one, uh, task name is terminate instance that were previously created and this time state is absent, okay. And uh, this time I am using instance IDs, so what, I'm, what I need to do, I have to open my work console and just copy this instance ID from the console, say copy and modify the entry okay so now that was the older one i need to replace the new one so right click and paste the entry okay save and quit and just execute the playbook let's see what happened turn me distance state of change okay so let me refresh currently is in running condition let's see what happen if i'm going to refresh see see shutting down so you can see that it's going to be shutting down and if i refresh it soon it will be going to be terminated okay so guys this is all about this demonstration you can write your playbook and deploy the code and you can manage it also and uh, I'll, I'll, everything is uh, see it's terminated everything is mentioned uh, the code is mentioned is ansible doc i have told you ansible hyphen doc ac2 everything is there you can just write down and take the help from this code and finally guys this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and you learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and bell the, press the bell icon button for the latest update Thanks for watching, stay safe and goodbye.